We just went through the what they call the, the lower part of the engine and measured it to see if it was it was in specs. This is they call the upper part of the engine. This is the head. And these are the valves, these are the rockers, and there are rods that come up through here that, that open and close the valves. So one of the things as far as service goes is you want to remove the valves, and there's different ways of doing it. A lot of the engines use this tool, and some of the engines use this tool. So what it does is it compresses the spring, and then you take the what are called keepers off the top, and take the, the valves out, and you'll measure the valve, measure the, the outside of the valve, measure the length of the valve, measure the stem of the valve, and see if they are within the wear limits. Again, if they are, great, you can reuse it. If not, throw it away and, and buy a new one. Again, that's a, a big part of the, of the manual. And I am totally fascinated with this. Again, this is the, they call it the sump cover. Uh, here's a bearing that holds the crankshaft. This is the, what's called the camshaft. And notice what it's made out of. Boy, they make some phenomenal tough plastics nowadays. Okay. So this gear actually meshes with this gear and kind of fun if you want to count teeth there's twice as many teeth on this one as there is that one because the crankshaft needs to turn twice and the camshaft needs to turn once in order to get things done to have the, the four different strokes to get um, the gas air and oil or gas and air through the, the engine get the, rid of the exhaust, compress it and that's where the four strokes come from. So you'd measure a service limit here would be measuring the end of this and measuring the end of this and you'd measure this. And again, this tool here will also not only measure between here, but it'll also measure this way. And I'm checking to make sure I'm on zero. I got it zeroed out and I can put it in here. and check for a, a service limit on the, on the sump cover, you know, whether it's wearing there. Because the way these are made is there is no bearing in there. In other words, it's that dependent on the oil that's in there. That's why there's a notch on top so that the oil can be splashed and dripped down into there, okay? So again, these are also measured, and most of they have also measure, measure the cams to make sure that they're, they're not worn, okay? Inspect the teeth, make sure the teeth, there aren't teeth broke out, make sure they're not all worn out. And these are the push rods that actually come up through, they come up through these holes. And come into the rocker, like so. And there's tappets then that ride on these and that's how the valves open and close. So there's also a service limit on these as far as length. So yeah, these could be wore out too. So again, there's a bunch of different things you wanna check. The best thing to do is just look through the manufacturer's uh, repair service limits and it'll tell you what parts you need to check and look at the numbers and it'll tell you whether it's worn out or not. It can be, it can be reused or not.